Hey guys, welcome to Detailing with Mark. Today I'm going to show you how to apply tire dressing with an ordinary everyday household sponge. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's everything you'll need to properly dress your tires. First, we have a, a sponge, an ordinary household sponge will do, square preferably. We're going to cut it in half with the scissors. Tire dressing, I like ammo mud personally, it's really good. A nice look, lasts long, no sling, most importantly when you drive, it doesn't sling all over the place and get all over your paint. Some nice black nitrile gloves, I use these, use whichever ones you like, keep your hands from getting messy, tire dressing it's kind of messy. And then lastly, a Ziploc bag or any old plastic bag, we're going to want to keep the uh, sponge, once the sponge has been used, keep it in the plastic bag, it'll keep it nice and moist so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so here we go. We're basically just going to cut this in half. Pretty simple. Line down the middle, roughly, roughly in the middle. There we go. That's it. Two pieces, perfect. Next, we're going to take our tire gel and our sponge. Shake up the tire gel really good. So here's what I do. I like to I like to put a decent amount on, like this, about this much. You want to butterfly it, basically go like this. So you want to just kind of work it around, let it soak in. Then I actually recommend doing that again a couple times. Just get it nice and, you know, you're priming it basically. Just get it like this, kind of nice and wet, prime it up. Otherwise, if you just leave it in a big blob and you start putting it on a tire, it's going to leak all over the place, run everywhere. That's just going to be a huge mess. You don't want that. So, yeah, so now we're ready to uh, make these tires look amazing. Let's do it. We've got our sponge well primed here with sealant, or tire gel rather. And we're just going to gently kind of go back and forth. Make sure you get close to the rim. Sometimes that's an easy spot to mess. Just very gently rub it back and forth, you can see here. Just going on nice and easy. One of the reasons I like using a sponge, I have another tire applicator, which I'll, um, I can show in a minute, but it's really good. Problem is it's really, really thick. It's got a handle on it. It's, it's great actually, but it absorbs a lot of product. This ammo tire gel, you know, like most car de detail products, it's not cheap. So you wanna use as little as you need to. A sponge has not a lot of surface area. You can see there's not a lot for it to soak into. So it's perfect. It keeps the product kind of right at the surface and it's really nice. Okay, do over here now. Shadow's getting in the way a little bit here. Sorry about that. Okay. Come back over here and make sure you kind of like Sometimes you need to like dab on the letters to get in between there, make it look extra nice. So go ahead and do that. But yeah, just nice and kind of slow, steady, round in circles. Make sure you get to the very bottom of the tire here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I used here three quarter size amounts of the tire gel. And I think it looks pretty awesome personally. You know, it's, it's actually a little more than you're supposed to use. But as I said, I like the nice wet look to the tire. So that's pretty much it, guys. It looks awesome. Now I'm going to repeat this for the other three tires and the car's going to look amazing. Okay, so here's our finished product. Looks pretty nice. Tire dressing is a really great finishing touch. Really makes the car pop. Makes a big, big difference in just how, how the car looks. There's a close-up of the wheel we did. I did all the rest of them. So, makes it look great. A uh, couple tips I didn't mention, but we'll mention now. Make sure the tire you're starting with is clean. Take a brush and some soap. Scrub it down really good until the foam is no longer brown. Wash it down with a hose or a pressure washer. Get all that dirt off the actual sidewall. Otherwise, it's going to muddy up with the tire gel and the tire dressing. So, make sure you start with a nice clean tire. And again, just to kind of go over the application tips here. Start, you want to start at the top, kind of go over the top and then use the sponge. It's great because the sponge is straight on the bottom. Run the sponge along the rim, nice and slow so you don't get the rim all gooey. But just run the sponge right along the rim, all the way around. Get it nice and tight so that the, the area right around the rim has nice shine to it. And then lastly, when you're done, put the sponge in a plastic bag, seal it up. The one on the right is the one I just used. It'll stay nice and moist. You can pull it out a month from now. It'll be super moist, ready to go. And then I've got the other half in there ready to go as well. These will last you 
probably 10 or 20 car washes before they disintegrate. So similar to washing dishes, they have a shelf life, right? Eventually they just kind of turn into dust and fall apart. Each sponge is about a buck, so I think this is a an excellent uh, method for dressing your tires and you know the results I think speak for themselves. The tire looks pretty awesome. We'll go up here and let you have a look at the, another wheel. It looks really really good. It, it applies the tire gel really really evenly. It just looks really really nice. Again just kind of completes the look of the, the vehicle so very happy with this stuff and can't wait to put this baby back in the garage and enjoy it. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.